So a few of the players on Capture the Flag, uh, Mind Test Capture the Flag, have asked me to make a tutorial on how to use the uh, the map editor because it's a little bit fiddly, and uh, I've got another map in the works, and I need to practice using it anyway. So I thought, why not? Uh, the trouble is. Um, while I went through it I kind of made a few mistakes so this video is sort of warts and all uh, you can see me make some pointless mistakes and the effects that they have which I guess is useful for knowing if you're making a map and you see a certain behavior you'll know exactly what the cause of that was uh, without having to ask in the discord or the forums or anything so right let's start the video and have a look now the first thing I'm doing here is setting up a new world. Uh, this is kind of the first step. Uh, obviously before I've set up the new world, which I've just logged into and realized I haven't turned on my mods, so I've logged out, log, logging back in with the mods turned on. Um, yeah, so before doing that obviously you got to install the Capture the Flag game spawn a new world in it with creative mode on and then what I like to do is set out all your geometry first um, so here I am just building the basics of a football pitch uh, it's a five-a-side football pitch which is why the markings are the way they are before you comment that it's wrong it's not wrong it's five-a-side pitch and um, yeah I'm just basically building it now at this point I'm creating the new map now what this is going to do is ask me to punch two nodes in the corners so there's the first one and I'm about to do the second one but I've realized that these aren't enough so I'm just adding one more there we go so that's going to set the zone bounds for the entire map um, and basically after doing this bit I like to finish the map editing so I've named it well I forgot to put a folder name there but I like to finish editing and copy the folder that that's created out into another world uh, so here I am looking in that new folder that had just been created and the yellow writing gives you the exact location of it uh, so because I forgot to put the folder name bit I'm renaming the folder manually and um, yeah I'm gonna copy that into the capture the flag my copy of capture the flags map folder which if you pay attention to the folders I'm clicking on will be revealed in just a second yeah, so here it is so football crazy is now in there so what I'm going to do is I think at this point I make a mistake and I go back into the original which is not what I wanted to do um, so I'll realize that in a minute because I think what's happened there is the map spawned underground because the zero height has changed for some reason uh, I didn't realize that at the time so what I'm doing here is starting a new world but this one's a single node now the thing about single node is it's only got one node in it and it's air uh, so, when, yeah. So when you get in, you're just in void. Start map editing, and it spawns whatever's in the map file, and nothing else. So there's no surrounding terrain. So the first thing I'm doing here is I'm using World Edit to put a fishbowl around it. Essentially, um, it's now got a completely impenetrable uh, perimeter, and um, yeah so I'm setting up the outer barriers for the level I'm just tidying up uh, some of the imagery I didn't like the muddy look of the center spot so uh, I'm placing some barriers uh, yeah so these uh, you can place there is a command for putting them as well uh, I haven't used any commands in this apart from where I've strictly needed to put a yes or a no or something and to summon the map editor but yeah generally I've tried to use the GUIs as much as I can uh, so here I am, I'm putting the barrier rock uh, now what I'm doing, when I place see I'm going to place this here the reason for that is if you look up in the top corner that white writing, that tells you what the name of it is to type into this bit uh, so then you just type that in there like that and then so now there's barriers underground now I can t tunnel underneath before start time um, uh, so what I'm doing here is making an indestructible pad for the flag to go on that's important it's got to be indestructible and it's got to be two layers thick uh, I believe some idiot found a trick with void grenades uh, where you could suck people 
downwards from underneath well yeah from underneath the spawn or where the flag was down into like a trap that you'd built underneath their base so now it's got to be two layers thick which is what I'm doing there I'm putting the the lower layer in um, and putting the goalposts on the line because otherwise sports fans would have a go at me uh, so when I use this map editor because uh, it's it's a bit daunting I keep missing bits so one thing I will I've put the barrier in place now but I will miss out the um, setting the zone bounds at this point uh, th what I'm doing there is I'm using the fixed lighting thing because when you use world edit for some reason all the lighting goes strange you have to use what you have to use the fixed lighting thing on the entire map after you've used world edit to make the shadows go proper um, so what am I doing at this point? I'm just mucking around with skyboxes. I think in the end I choose not to use the skybox. Um, so when when you use the map editor, every time you want to do something, a function in it, it's generally based on the punch. So you would like click on a button, uh, and for that one it was setting the zone bounds for a chest zone. Uh, and I've made a mistake there. What I've done is I've put it on the ground that needed to be above ground. I think I correct that later on once I realise what I've done. Uh, this is uh, what I mean. So that's a nice little shot of the entire geometry of the map there. Oh yeah, map enabled. That's, an, that's a good one to click on. That will make sure that your map will work. Uh, yeah. So what I keep missing bits when I use it. It's um, yeah, it's sort of like a daunting checklist that. I, so it doesn't give you any indication of the bits you've already done apart from the writing changing a bit uh, for me that looks a bit squiggly uh, so yeah oh, here I am correcting the zone bounds for the chest zones um, and putting the second chest zone in because obviously they need to be above ground so that uh, well you know so that you, so that you can see them for a start uh, but I haven't yet set the zone bounds for the teams and I won't do that until I realize but obviously I'm speaking in the future this is past Mike we're watching and uh, oh yeah changing the number of the chests to a sensible one that's a good idea Mike a lot of the stuff that I do as well on this is kind of extraneous because I'm sort of bumbling my way through it and remembering it bit by bit um, but yeah I've clicked finish edit in there so this is now everything I've just done there has been saved into that folder that you can see the name of um, and it looks like I'm about to go and get it and I like to back up the previous version so what I'll do you'll see me do it in a second is go to the maps folder take the, change that to dot old get rid of it to the desktop and then paste the folder in so that I've still got a copy of that one in case I've done anything horrendously wrong because sometimes you can so I've spawned into a test world that I was already using this one happens to have Ant War loaded um, which is a very cool map now this is the result of not having the zone bounds set properly there's obviously no zone so you are beyond the barrier at all times and which is why you're constantly getting teleported back to the flag no matter where you try to go uh, this is not the ideal behavior when you need to build base so uh, yeah I've realized that at this point point. Um, and rather than reloading a whole new copy of the map I've just decided to rebuild the barrier because uh, it's disappeared now because it's after the point and I've restarted the map editor so uh, rebuilding the barrier in this copy and um, Yeah, what's he doing here? Oh, setting the zone bounds by the looks of it before building the barrier. So, the yeah. Um, now, the first time I did the zone bounds, I did it wrong, and you'll see the results of that in a minute. Another one of these mistakes that I've made is that I put the zone bounds to be uh, exactly inside the fishbowl, but actually they should have incorporated it because the bit uh, so right I've saved this uh, it's now got zone bound set and when we load it up let's get rid of that uh, save that to the desktop and then um, load it up 
can't remember if I spawned a new world here or if I used an old one again. We'll see in a second. Send that back to the desktop. Ah, I spawned it into the old world. Now it's got a fishbowl over the top. Uh, the entire thing revealed itself. So yeah, I think that's why I knew that initially it was buried. So I've spawned it into a, a proper single node uh, CTF world. And um, you can see I can run around now, which is great. You can get stuff out of the chests. You can build. It's uh, shaping up to be a map. Uh, but one thing that you might have, and every time I go to the edge, uh, I go back to the flag. That's because I set the zone bounds wrong and uh, they should have incorporated the entire thing but as a test run through as you can see it works you can capture the flag which is the name of the game so final edit which is optimistic <laughs> I think in the end this was the final edit uh, yeah, so spawn a new single node world uh, re reload the map Oh, after I've been using Grant Me All to get all of the privileges while I've been doing all this stuff. Um, so yeah, reload the map. Um, got to fill those holes that I made in the thing because someone might be able to void grenade their way out of there. That's important. And here I am now, correctly setting the zone bound. So I've gone basically to the corner of the fishbowl rather than the inside corner of it. If you get my meaning. Um, so yeah, just checking everything's still tickety boo. Seems to be. And it, yep, that's a, another click finish. That might be the final version of it. So now, obviously, doing the folder copying again. Copy the folder back into the maps place. That one, obviously, renamed and chucked to the desktop. I will get rid of them off my desktop. So, this is it now. In a spawned in a world, a normal world that doesn't have creative mode on. Uh, so it's just an ordinary CTF server at this point. And as you can see, you can get up to the barriers all the way around. You can get stuff out of the boxes. So clearly, it works. Let's have a bit of fun with it before. Obviously, you got to check everything's working. So, load up on guns. Bring your friends, as a wise man said. And yeah, basically, this map works. It's so simple that there's not a lot that could go wrong with it. There is like the possibility of tunneling, but it wouldn't take long to dig down to where they were. <laughs> like you get one layer of grass above the rock um, so yeah there it is all working so that should show you how to build a CTF map uh, for mine test CTF and um, yeah hopefully it gave you a bit of insight into some of the stuff that can go wrong so that if you see some of that behavior you'll be able to go oh yeah I know what that is because you've seen it already I know some of that was a bit quick to follow so I recommend turning the sound down and playing it at like half speed maybe if you're like trying to pick out exactly what I'm doing um, but yeah hopefully that's helpful and oh, I'll show you around this place so we're in a cinema but wait there's more Welcome to the mall. So I'm going to have to go through that process again with this place pretty soon. But before I do, I'm going to have to decorate all of these shops. So wish me luck on that one. Um yeah this is the four player one I've been talking about it's coming along as you can see uh, so yeah let's, 
this will make a few more maps get a bit more variety going on but until such a time as someone else wants me to make a particular tutorial about stuff uh, take care